Hello there. This video is a very long time coming. Uh, I've been going back and forth for like a year maybe, uh, trying to figure out if I should make the video or not. And the reason is basically that I don't really like creating negative content, uh, but like expressing ne negative opinions. That is basically the reason why I took away the worst character in How Much Mother video that I had on the main channel. But I thought about it and I really want to express my opinion about the show and that goes for negative opinions as well. Uh, so uh, what better place to do so than on my secondary channel where I do these kinds of videos. So Lily Aldrin, what, how do you describe Lily Aldrin? She's a loving mother, an artist, a caring friend, a loving wife. All of that, right? Lily Aldrin, caring wife, loving friend, slap that commissioner. That's probably how you would describe her. But for people that have watched the show a lot of times and uh, kind of uh, looked a little deeper, we might have a slight different opinion. That goes for me as well. I have a different, a slightly different perspective on Lily. I wasn't sure how to properly structure this video to properly express myself. So I thought that i basically just be listing all the things that makes Lily suck, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. Like we take step, step, step by step. Now, important, two things. Number one, uh, this video is going to be extremely biased. I'm not going to be focusing on uh, any of the good qualities that Lily has, right? She does, she does have good qualities. Um, that goes without saying. And I'm not going to be looking at any of the other like bad things that the other characters do. Uh, I think you can make a case for why every character in How Much Mother pretty much sucks. And there is actually a one guy that did that and I made a reaction to it. His name is Brian T.F. Bell. And I very strongly encourage you to watch that video. And I'm probably going to be drawing some similar points out uh, in this video that he did. Uh, so if you haven't, then go check it out. Video will be right here. Okay. Okay. And point number two, this goes without saying, but it's the most important one. This is purely based towards the character of Lily Aldrin and nothing against uh, Alison Hannigan, the actress. I really enjoy her work. I think she does a amazing job in How Much a Mother and in all of her other like roles. So everything I say is towards the character, not the actress. Okay. 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 That was the introduction. Now let's get on with the video. Uh, Reason number one, now this is probably one of the most like uh, popular reasons why people dislike Lily that everyone brings up. Uh, the fact that she moved to San Francisco right before her wedding and basically broke up the, uh, her whole engagement with Marshall. I really don't know how to probably defend this. I've thought it over and like, number one, what, why did she have to go about it the way she did? Why didn't she discuss this with Marshall before taking, making the decision? I'm sure he would have understood and they could have talked about it at least. And why did she have to take a art fellowship that wasn't in New York? Uh, New York is known for having a lot of art and culture, no? I don't know. I, I think so. I've heard so. And uh, I don't understand why she had to go to San Francisco to do this. Like, that's even a point that Ted brings up. Lily, we live in the center of art and culture in America. I'm sure you can find a program here that's just as selective, but you chose one in a city 3,000 miles away and you didn't tell Marshall. I think it's pretty clear what that means. And why did she have to do it right before the wedding, right? She had a lot of time to do it beforehand, but she could also have done it after. Uh, we, how long is it? Like, obviously it's unpredictable, but uh, they go on till season six, season six final until they have a, have a kid. That's five years from, uh, the point in season one until the point in season six. Three months, she could have, you she could have done it another time. Now this one goes for both Marshall and Lil, maybe a little bit for Marshall uh, because he was hurt, but like, why did they, when Lily said she was going to San Francisco for this art program, why did she have to like, call off the whole wedding? I need to go to San Francisco and do this art program and, and figure out who I am outside of us. And the only way that I can do that is if if we don't talk for a while. Try never, okay? You walk out that door and we're done. You're never gonna hear my voice again. It was three months. I know they couldn't have done it at the planned date, but why not just push it then and have a date like, oh, she want to pursue this. So, oh, now, nope, don't love you anymore. Don't want to be in your in a relationship with you. Like, <laughs> come on. Like this whole situation with her going to San Francisco, there is so many questions 
with no reasonable answers, in my opinion. Now, you can excuse this, right? Uh, oh, she wanted to follow her passion. She didn't know she would be able to do it after the wedding. All of that. Uh, basically, the arguments that they say in the show and everything. Uh, but then, when she comes back, after three months, is it three months? Two, three months or something? She has the audacity to come ask Marshall if she wants to, if he wants to get back together, like right away. Lily, this was the worst summer of my life. I know, it was the worst summer of my life. It was the hardest thing that I've ever had to go through. Can we please get back together? And uh, he basically goes on this beach uh, three months ago. You broke my heart. You broke my heart, Lily. It broke my heart. Three months ago, you broke my heart. Can we please get back together? No argument, nothing, no way to like uh, properly explain yourself why you did what you did. She just uh, cries and asks, can we please get back together? Really, you were right. All that crap was right. So no. No, we can't get back together. We shouldn't. Thankfully, Marshall has the balls to say no. Uh, if he got back together with Lily at that point, uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know, man. Uh, <laughs> now, I think that Lily was actually a fairly strong character in season one. Um, like, she had good storylines and she was, like, that's definitely when she peaked as a character, in my opinion. But, season two, however, is a complete shit show for her. <laughs> I already talked about the breakup, uh, how she goes to San Francisco, her lame-ass attempt of getting back together with Marshall, right? But what I haven't mentioned is the whole episode with Chloe. You remember Chloe. Uh, she went on a date with Marshall, she then later picked up stripping and then started dating Deadpool, right? You know her. Now, can we please take Chloe's perspective in this episode? Like, yeah, she's supposed to be like, uh, have crazy eyes, according to Barney, Ted and uh, Marshall. Dude, you gotta ditch her. Obviously. But, why? She's got the crazy eyes. Dude, the eyes, they're crazy. If, we're, if we take Chloe's perspective, and Marshall's as well, uh, Lily is absolutely dog shit crazy in this episode. Okay, I have two plans you can help me choose. Plan A, remember that time Marshall and I had sex in the bathroom? Oops, I got knocked up. No way, okay. Plan B is called Chloe's accident. I just stopped. Turn around, Chloe! And for some goddamn reason, this is the episode where Marshall decides to get back together with Lily. You're crazy. <laughs> you have crazier eyes than anybody that I've ever met. You need to be going back. Gonna get out of your mind. You're just absolutely insane. Why? <laughs> Like, Swarly is, in my opinion, not that great an episode. Uh, the Swarly joke is funny and iconic, but the other half, I, I'm just so... It's so frustrating to watch. Uh, it's fun to watch Marshall single, but the fact that Lily is jealous the whole episode and ends up getting back together with Marshall and the... Uh, oh. Yeah. There is something else in Season 2 that absolutely infuriates me. Any idea? In Season 2. Leave a guess. Aldrin fucking justice. Let me set the scene. Lily is down on her luck. She's no longer with Marshall. She lives in a absolutely crappy apartment with a stove incubator and everything. Uh, and she's like gone back and forth between jobs and she's now working as a waitress at uh, the Hawaiian Lulao place, right? That she hates, okay? She, she's not having a good time, but that's okay. She has a great friend named Ted and she, he's gonna offer her a job as an assistant at a big architecture firm, right? Great opportunity, no? Basically, you're sort of a general office assistant. You'll sit there. My station is right over here. Now, what does Liv do? She straight up jeopardizes Ted's entire career by messing with uh, Hammond Brothers because he is mean to people. I can't believe how Mr. Druthers treats people. 
in that building? Oh, talk about overcompensating. It's gone. What? What? Uh, what's gone? It's my baseball, signed three times by Pete Rose. Hey, um, Lily, question for you. Why did I find Mr. Druthers' baseball signed three times by Pete Rose in your desk drawer? It's easy. I took it. When I was teaching kindergarten, whenever a kid was mean, I would take away one of his toys. The kid would be upset at first, but then he'd learn to stop being mean. Ted points out, stealing is a crime. So is being mean. He was mean. And that's why I took away his ball. That's not justice, it's shoplifting, and it's a crime. So is being mean. Being mean? Is something subjective. It can be mean to some and they can be mean, not mean to others. A crime has to be defined in the court of law, right? Um, I don't think, I, don't, I haven't read all the laws in the US, but I don't think there's a law saying um, paragraph blah, blah blah blah. Don't be mean. Ted gives Lily multiple, multiple warnings uh, about not doing what she's doing, stop stealing from uh, Hammond Brothers, right? And give him his stuff back. Look, Lil, we're all tolerating this prolonged nervous breakdown you're clearly having with the punk band and the beekeeping and the petty larceny, but this is my career you're messing with. I'm not sure I like your tone. You know what? Now you've just lost the ball. Got it? Okay, give me the ball. No. What do you mean, no? I mean, I stand by what I did, Ted. Come on, Lily, we're running out of time. Everybody get in here now! Give me his ball back right now. People are gonna get fired. No, they're not. It's just a tantrum, Ted. I saw this in kindergarten all the time. This isn't kindergarten. Mr. Druthers is an adult and he wants his ball back. But Lily stands her ground and she doesn't like she doesn't move and she basically doesn't learn anything at the end of the episode either. Um She ends up being a kindergarten teacher where her methods work because she's with kids and she's not in the real world where uh, I will say that Aldrin Justice is a pretty okay episode um, for How Much Mother but it is by far the episode that furates me the most I like I just can't watch the plot line with Ted and Lily. I, I actually can feel myself getting pretty pissed off just talking about this uh, like writing the script I felt like tense and upset but now actually talking out loud about it um uh, yeah heating up now oh, okay so i'm going to make some a suggestion yes i know i've seen the show and i am um, like no it's not easy to make a show and make the best decisions in the moment but hear me out for me marshall should be single for the entirety of season two uh i think that would create a lot of great storylines it would actually put some more weight to the fact that they broke up and not just get back together after a few episodes. It would make so that Lily actually feels uh, the repercussions of her actions, which I think would be nice for her to actually experience once. She doesn't really throughout the show, we'll get to it. And I think it would be perfect. They broke up at season one final, right? They will get back together in season two final. Uh, the wedding will do the wedding in season three, right? Lily and Marshall get back together in season two final, and Ted and Robin get uh, breaks up in season two, the way they did. So uh, it's gonna be like poetry. Uh, they mirror each other, right? So uh, yeah, <laughs> you'll see Marshall sitting at the staircase, super happy with Lily, and then Ted comes out the car of the cab, crying. <laughs> I think that would be amazing. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> back to the topic. Let me play you a scene from season nine. Hey, don't you get it? You went behind my back. You hurt me. You were more selfish than I have ever been to you. You broke up with me and moved to San Francisco. There is nothing more important to me than our family. You know that. Well, let me ask, what if you had found success in San Francisco? How do I know that you even would have come back to me? Stop it. Our Marvin and I and any other future children, we may have just some consolation prize. I have to get out of here. I fully understand that Lily probably has a lot going on in her mind because she predicts that she has another pregnancy and she's stressed out about that. And like Marshall saying all of that really hurts her, you know, uh, I understand that. But throughout the entirety of the show, she has never said or done anything to prove Marshall otherwise. We have no idea if she actually found success in uh, San Francisco. 
would she have returned? I don't know. I honestly, I don't think so. Uh, if if not, then I, if she did find success, I think she probably would have stayed. Based on her characteristics and everything, I think if she found success and was found happiness in San Francisco, then I think she would have stayed. And based on that, Marshall, his kid, their kids, and everything is basically a consolation prize because she did find, not find success in San Francisco, so she goes back to what she like let go of. Consolation prize. Okay, let's talk about money. Lily sucks with it. I'll go through the different situations. First, she destroys an $8,000 wedding dress. Happy to be getting married. <laughs> yeah, bad it is. <laughs> okay, that is okay. I mean, it can happen. It was an, it was an accident and uh, yeah. But what does she do? Does she take responsibility for it? Does she like try to make up for it herself? No. Baby, I know that this will make things harder, but I will make it work. I promise. I destroyed an $8,000 wedding dress. What time is the interview? 9 a.m. And you'll need new shoes. Don't worry, I know a guy. She knows Marshall doesn't want to work at corporate, corporate with Barney, but um, yeah, he basically has to now. Yeah, Marshall messed up too, but he got tricked by Barney. Uh, that was not really on him, but yeah, okay. That's fine, right? It happens. One one time occurrence, right? She doesn't do the same thing later in the show, right? Hmm. Oh wait, no. Later in season three, uh, we found out that Lily has extreme credit uh, card debt. Apparently. Lily, this is nuts. How many credit cards do you have? I don't know. Well, how much do you owe? I don't know. How is she planning to fix that? So when you said, but you're still going to go to your job interview today, right, baby? And then, oh, you should go. I mean, you're not going to take the job, but you might as well get a great meal out of the deal. You were pushing him into taking that high paying corporate job. All right. She wants Marshall to take this high paying job over working at the NRDC, which is basically his dream. So she uh, doesn't have to own up to her own mistakes. Now, I've talked about a lot of different things that frustrates me about Lily, but this one scene from season three is probably number two in the whole show over scenes that I just can't stand. Lily knows that she has a lot of credit card debt that they've just discussed earlier, and she knows that Marshall has a lot of student loan debt that she he needs to pay down. And when Marshall presents the amount of money he will be making at this big uh, corporation, how would Lily react? I'll I'll show you a clip. And they offer me like, 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 like a lot of money. Oh, Marshall, how much money? Here. I don't know. I. Uh... It's it it's mind-boggling the fact that they've just made a, such a big deal out of how bad in a, of a situation Lily's in, uh, and they made a big deal about Marshall be having a lot of student debt, and the fact that she would, when presented with a solution, she's like, more shoes, more shopping, yes. I'm not gonna say more, but what? Well, oh, uh, side note, uh, it's not a super important detail, but when Marshall suggests that uh, later on that Lily should sell some of her clothes, she gets super upset and complains, oh, wh why are we not selling any of your clothes? I hate to say this, but I think you're gonna have to sell your stuff. Whoa, Marshall, that's just a game we play in the bedroom. <laughs> I mean your clothes, all your designer pieces and everything. What? Why just my clothes? I don't know. Maybe because you're the one that created this whole problem. Maybe you are the one that should own up to it. Maybe you should be thankful that Marshall is willing to create a website helping you sell clothes that you bought with money you don't have in order to... Okay. Cheerful thoughts. Uh, let's move on. Um, let me show you another scene. 
Lily is a diabolical puppet master, subtly manipulating every situation to get exactly what she wants. She's pure evil. A lot of people would say that Lily gave great advice, right? But in reality, she enforces herself into the situation by manipulating those around her in order to get what she believes is the best thing for, in most, in most cases, for her. Not for them or who she's manipulating, but her, right? So, uh, great advice, and eh, I don't know. Ted says it himself, uh, she has absolutely no right to do so uh interfering with like you know what i'm talking about with the whole front porch thing you broke me and karen up are you insane what gives you the right to do that ted i did it for your own good you just weren't seeing how awful she was she failed the front porch test what, what's up ted think about how awesome you me and marshall are seriously think about it we're pretty awesome totally awesome so whoever you marry, whoever joins Team Awesome, the bar is set pretty damn high. Lily imagined this uh, dream scenario with uh, Lily Marshall sitting at front porch with Ted and his significant other. And she makes it so, oh, we are so awesome. We need an awesome uh, companion for Ted to live up to our awesomeness. First of all, Lily, you are so far away from awesome that it actually is shocking. I hated doing that again, but Karen had to go. Again? Wait, how many times have you broken me up with a girlfriend? Never! Six. Like who? No one. Angie. She doesn't just break up uh, Ted and Karen, by the way, which is the couple that she did in that episode. She has apparently broken up six of Ted's relationships in the past, which... Ted's life could have been completely different if it wasn't for Lily. And uh, for good or bad, like she has no, she has no, like she has no business interfering in that. Uh, it is probably one of the most unlikable and sucky things about Lily. Um, we'll get to more, but yeah, it's uh, yeah. Seriously, what is wrong with you, Lily? How could you do that? I did this because I care about you. You can't manipulate people like that. I I've known you 12 years, and I can honestly say I have never been more furious at you. Look, I didn't mean no, to. No, I don't even want it. You had no right to interfere in my relationships. You got lucky, okay? You met the love of your life in a dorm hallway when you were 18. But that doesn't give you the right to play God to the rest of us mortals down here who are still looking for someone. You're, you're so concerned about who you and Marshall are going to end up on that front porch with. Well, you know what? You can have it to yourselves. You could say she owns up to it and uh, kind of apologizes at the end of the episode, right? But it happens later on in the show. She doesn't learn a damn thing. In Rough Patch, when she's... Uh, oh, I'm retired. I don't break up any other couples anymore. Uh... Forget it. I'm retired. I'm out of the game. But nobody's better than you. I'm telling you, I swore off that racket. I've gone legit. I'm a matchmaker now. Set me up with someone. Whoa, I'm just starting out. Great little invitation. But, and then she goes ahead and breaks up little uh, Barney or Robin. At least she attempts, right? I'm uh, having a hard time explaining. I don't think I need to, but I'm having a hard time explaining why it's so messed up that she interferes like that. Now, I talked. About, I mentioned my uh, second most infuriating scene in How Much Mother. There is, however, one entire episode and which has the most frustrating scene as well, which includes Lily. Obviously. Any guesses what that episode is? Take your time. I'll wait. I think it's pretty, like, ironic how uh, Barney talks about uh, 83 all the time. We know 83. Um, how fitting that Lily has the worst episode in episode 83 of the show. I'm talking about Myrtle, um, with the Myrtle list. Right? That, that whole storyline with uh, Barney and Ted doing the Murta list and everything. Good episode, right? Do you guys remember what the B-plot with Lily and Marshall is? Marshall had just taken over as coach for Lily's kindergarten basketball team. He thought it'd be fun, but Lily saw it as something more. Dad practice. Marshall is coaching this kid's basketball team, right? Lily comes in one day, wanting to visit, and... Let's just say she doesn't agree with his coaching method. I wanted to see Coach Marshmallow do his thing. Oh, okay. 
Hey, kids, who wants to knock off early and have some of these here orange slices? Yeah! Yeah? Well, you can't, because oranges are for winners, and you little turds haven't even made a single shot. Run. Um, and, yeah, both of uh, Lily and Marshall's coaching styles are a bit extreme. Marshall obviously goes too far at some points. <laughs> hey! <laughs> that's not running, that's falling! <laughs> hey! That's not running, that's falling! Like, yeah, for, played for comedic effect, right? I, I am more leaning towards Marshall on that point. He gives a great speech about uh, how in life there's, uh, you're not just gonna be given things, you have to work hard and you gotta prove yourself to actually accomplish things in life, right? I... What are we doing wrong, coach? You know, you're not doing anything wrong. It's great that you guys are losing because in life, it doesn't matter how much effort you put in or how hard you try, people will just give you things like diplomas and jobs and promotions. So it doesn't matter what you do out there as long as, as, long as you have fun. I don't agree 100% with all of the things he does in the episode, the way he coaches, but uh, his whole speech about that, I, yeah, I agree. And I can't say I agree with Lily's, uh, like, philosophy, right? Don't you give me that look. Lily, I can't take it anymore. Your way of coaching is crazy. Stop yelling at me. Sorry, but can I please do it my way? Fine, but I'm going to do it my way too. I'm getting my guitar. But uh, that's fine. Uh, we have di different views on how to do things and uh, what you want to accomplish, right? But the absolute worst single scene in How Much a Mother is at the end of this episode. I You can argue as much as you want. I cannot stand watching this scene. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just play it. I love it. I just, I work so hard. It feels good to be appreciated for my effort. I know, baby. Maybe, maybe your way is not totally stupid. Thanks. Being the extremely great person he is, Marshall decides to open up and be, oh, yeah, maybe my coaching style isn't the right one. Maybe I can learn from you, Lily, uh, and your coaching style actually makes a little bit of sense, right? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry for acting the way I did, and if, thank you for, um, yeah. What does Lily do? Your way is totally stupid. <laughs> It's too much. Uh, sorry, I just uh, needed Kirby for a moment to calm down. Um, Kirby, hey. Okay. Yeah, she doesn't want to be around for this video either. I could go into more specific examples of why Lily sucks um, and go into greater detail explaining the situations. Um, the script is already kind of long. The video is probably pretty long at this point. So I'll just list and mention some things that bugs me. Uh, number one, she openly, openly hits on other men. And then we fell asleep on the beach while counting the stars. Do you want to have dinner with me? Uh, us. Um, Dale, for example. Um, it's a little bit excused because Marshall ends up kind of hitting, adoring Gael as well. So, I don't know, yeah. Uh, still, openly ask him out for a date. I don't know. Um... You have this one scene, I'll show you, uh, when Marshall expresses that he hates New York, uh, Lily gives him this death look, uh, basically showing you're not allowed to have any opinions on your, of your own. He wouldn't think of living anywhere else. I hate New York! <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's true, okay? Today I was walking around Price Co. Have you ever been there? It's huge. All the stores in New York are so cramped every time I turn. But Marshall, you love New York. Yeah, I do, except that I hate it. I'm too big for New York. I'm not afraid to say it. I love New Jersey. I'm just kidding. Okay, you, Lily, you don't like New, you like New York and hate New Jersey. Well, maybe Marshall has a different opinion. I don't know. Happens. Uh, it, it was kind of a story arc throughout uh, the season that uh, Lily was afraid that Marshall would be like overworked and never be at home when they have a kid. 
what happens the moment she gets a job herself that is not being a kindergarten teacher and actually like a uh, art consultant. Uh, sh she is away all the time and never home for the kid. A little hypocritical, I don't know. Yeah. Let me end it with a final statement. Marshall is a 6'4", good looking, um, very nice guy that happens also to be a lawyer living in New York City. Lily, however, yeah, what we've been discussing this video, I think it's very, very, very clear who is the reacher and who is the settler in this relationship. Lily scored the fucking jackpot with Marshall. I think this is going to be a fairly controversial video. It's going to be very like, um, some people agree, some people don't. So let's hear it in comments, right? Uh, <laughs> I want to voice my opinion. Uh, as I said, this is obviously a very biased video with uh, only focusing on the negatives pretty much. And there is obviously problems with the other characters as well. And this is not uh, meant towards the actress, Alison Hannigan. I love her, great actress, but it's meant towards the character, like the fictional character of like, Lily Aldrin. So thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Uh,